One other equation you might be wondering about is this one, which gives you a projectile's position y in terms of its horizontal position x. And this one's also pretty straightforward to obtain, so I'll show you how to, how to do it. If you remember from the other video or from maybe class or something, we know that x of t is going to be equal to v naught, the initial velocity, cosine theta times time. And then if we assume that we have an initial position of zero, we can just leave out the initial x term that would be added on here. And then y of t was negative gt squared over 2 plus v naught sine theta t plus the initial y position. So what we're going to do is actually just solve for t in this x of t equation and plug it into the y of t equation. So if we solve, we get t, so remember this comes from here, t equals equals x, and we'll leave out the of t to keep you from getting confused, v naught cosine theta. I'm going to plug that in where we have t here and where we have t here. So y of x is then going to become negative g over 2 divided by 2 times x over v naught cosine theta squared plus v naught sine theta times x over v naught cosine theta plus the initial y position. Now all we have to do is simplify. So negative g, remember this squared is going to distribute over everything in the denominator and in the numerator. So it's going to be x squared over 2 times v naught squared cosine squared theta plus now if we look at this one this v naught since since this whole term is there all the terms in this are being multiplied we can cancel the v naught so that goes away and then we're left with sine theta x over cosine theta plus the initial y position now we can simplify a little bit further and just take this whole term the sine theta over cosine theta, and if we remember that sine theta over cosine theta equals tangent of theta, we can rewrite this as negative g x squared all over 2 v naught squared cosine squared theta plus x times tangent of theta plus the initial y position. And that, right there, gives us the vertical position y of a projectile in terms of its horizontal position x. So if you're asked how high something is when it has gone a certain distance, you can answer it using this equation. And again, I always suggest learning how to derive these equations because you'll understand them a lot better and you'll know how to use them a lot better. So if you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks again.